The much-talked-about Ineos Grenadier is on its way, and I'm continuing my journey behind the scenes to find out exactly what the engineers are up to. Ineos has pulled together an international team of specialists to bring the Grenadier to life. There are around 60 companies already involved, and one of the key players is based here in Austria. Tractors, trucks, 4x4s, Magna has over a century of experience developing and building some of the world's toughest off-road vehicles. A good fit for this ambitious project. It feels like there's a bit of a grenadier takeover here. There are around 100 engineers working on the project and 15 in this design office focused on creating a suspension setup that meets the needs of people who use their 4x4s for work every day. People like Billy Milne, putting in the hard yards, looking after a large estate in the wilds of Scotland. The terrain is tough, punishing, challenging all year round. So Billy knows exactly what he wants. An ideal 4x4 should be fit for purpose. It should be able to go where you want to put it. And it's got to have a good suspension system that rides through everything that's given. You want something basic, well set up, that does the job. So there's a big expectation here. The best possible ground clearance, constant traction, and high axle articulation and suspension travel. So how are the engineers at Magna creating the ultimate 4x4 suspension? Well, by taking apart the world's most renowned off-roaders and benchmarking them, exploring three main options, leaf spring, coil spring, or airbag then using CAD to develop a theoretical new model that combines the best engineering ingredients to create something even better. And their conclusion? Well, there was only one way to go, it seems. Coils and heavy-duty dampers. I met up with Magna engineer Matthias Mayer to find out more and to get an exclusive look inside their top-secret workshop. It's brilliant to see the suspension actually bolted to a chassis. And, and this is the Grenadier chassis now. Yes, you're right. It's Without. impressive. It is really, really impressive. You've clearly gone with coil springs yeah. here. Why? Coil spring is, in our uh, view, the best option for this vehicle because we can have here a progressive spring curve. This means the stiffness of the spring changes depending on the load. Add separate dampers and huge energy absorbing bump stops and the engineers believe they've created a unique package. So, underneath, two really hefty big bottom links and then two slightly smaller top links. That's right. This gives the stability against the rotation in, the, in this direction for brake torque and so on and also good stability uh, during the driving. These four really strong links help stop the whole axle twisting or moving forwards and backwards. Back in the front then, we've got one link here, the panard rod, mm -hmm. that goes from the chassis over here. To the axle. And its purpose? Is the guidance in lateral direction. So to stop the whole axle moving yeah. from side yeah. to side. You have to be strong because more or less the whole axle load in lateral direction guided by this link. So this has to be massive. And it's the same setup at the back. Where have you got to now in terms of developing the final suspension for Grenadier? Yeah, so we have a great uh, prototype setting now. We have a real great ground clearance, very high distortion angles on the axle itself. This enables a good traction on every off-road terrain you can think about. And of course, we have a real high wheel travel. This enables a good drivability, even in empty condition, and also with a trailer on it. There's no electronic control on this at all. There are no wires anywhere. Yeah, so there is completely free of electric components to be robust, to be easy to maintain, also to have easy access to all parts. I tell you what, after months of only being able to look at computer-generated models of the suspension, it is so cool to finally be able to touch some real parts, but these are Prototypes, of course, there's a whole heap of testing and fine-tuning to go. There's a bloke in Scotland, I know, who will be desperate to get his hands on this stuff and to show it a bit of good old-fashioned Highland hospitality. Hopefully, they will get it right. And if they listen to the people that's out there that's working the ground, working the land, and need a good rugged 4x4, I hope they get it right.
I hear you, Billy. Clearly building a rugged 4x4 is a huge challenge, but getting it right is exactly what Ineos are focusing on. That's why they've got the best people working on it. And I have to say, their confidence is impressive. I promised you exclusive access behind closed doors. Well, there you go. You're the only people who've seen that. Well, that's it for episode two of Building the Grenadier. Join me next time to find out more about the engineering of this radical new 4x4.